Capricorn. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's dig right into your oracle card reading. Do a full oracle card spread here. And then, of course, the extended link is below. That's a full tarot card spread. Sometimes we use the whole deck and your romance reading for the next seven days. Remember that this reading, Capricorn, is for Capricorn energy. So sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart, you can plug these energies in for the next seven days. What is, it, what is your crowning energy? What is the energy that we need to know about in messages that we have for you? This week, crowning your energy is time for a deep dive. You're tired of going deep and reclaim your power. You're exhausted. This is an energy of being done, especially with romance and love. This is the energy of feeling like no matter what you do, it isn't good enough. This is the energy of sadness and maybe depression. Um, this week, and listen, it. It's a week that you feel completely sort of despondent, kind of separated from yourself. This is a feeling of um, being unsupported and uncomfortable in your skin. Wow, yeah, this is, this is definitely your energy. What's coming out in the center is um, feeling raw. Feeling raw, feeling used, feeling left on your own and to your own devices, and feeling uncomfortable, feeling anything at all. Everything is coming out upside down, and that's telling me a lot, which is that your life feels upside down right now. Um, maybe things are going great for you um, outside. Emotionally, this would mean that things aren't going so well. In fact, you feel completely put upon or called out or um, um, accused or uh, as if, it's almost like every sound you hear rips your eardrums into because it's just not the sound that you need to hear right now. And I think this comes from a deep rooted sense of disappointment. Um, Everything is upside down for you. I, uh, it's, it's interesting how it's coming out too. It's like all sort of all over the place. You, Capricorn, are not normally all over the place. And I have to remind you, you are in Aquarius season now. Okay, there has been a major shift. And no, that isn't that isn't that that doesn't mean that Jupiter isn't still in Capricorn, but Jupiter's not the only planet we deal with, right? And there's this, this energy of I think especially when it comes to your emotions and the way that you feel right now, love for you is feeling like it isn't for you. It's like, love, look away, love, look away from me, lonely though I may be. Um, fly when you pass my door, um, um, fly and get lost at sea, call it a day, um, love, let, let us say we're through, no good are you for me, no good am I for you. Um, wanting you so, I try too much. After you go, I cry so much. So love, look away. Love, look away from me. Leave me and set me free. Look away, look away, look away, look away from me. You remember that song? It's from Flower Drum Song. It's a beautiful song. I'll attach it above head. That's how you're feeling because I will say this as something that you know that I love you for is that you are perpetually strong even when you're weak. Even when you feel completely drained, there's something about you that can run on empty like a pro. Um, but it doesn't mean that you don't hurt and aren't crackling and crumbling inside. And, and that's what this feeling is of just running on empty and crackling and crumbling inside, but being too strong to actually fall apart. And I think that that's one of the reasons why you don't get the help that you so often need because you don't just fall apart. You don't just crumble. Um, you, it's almost like you can. You are, if I had to compare you out of all, out of all the earth signs, you're the metal, you know? Uh, if you ever watch the, uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, you're the metal bender. You are metal. You're not just rock. You're something that's harder. You're something that's firmer. You're, you're the diamond that was <laughs> like forged 
in the depths, the bowels of the earth from the toughest pressure. And the problem with that is that even when you want to, you just can't break. And how do we know that other people are in distress? By them breaking, by them falling apart. But there's something about you that won't fall apart, right? And it's a, it is natural to you and it is a natural strength, but it is unfortunate because it isn't it isn't complete. Like on the inside, it doesn't mean that you're not completely crumbling. And I think that that's what's happening this week. But please understand, this is part of your process. This is almost like the cleaning out the pipes. The crumbling and the cracking on the inside is so that eventually the emotions can wash away all the goo and flush it out. You do uh, have a tend this tendency of yours to make everything work and to just keep on pushing and keep on trucking. It's like, when will you stop? When will you stop trying to make it work when it doesn't work? And that's this energy of like, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Technically, you didn't do anything wrong. Technically, you were just the best of yourself, but even the best of yourself. And I think that this is why, and you probably hate it, but this is probably why you're represented by um, the devil card. You know, it's not because you're evil. It's because um, you just obsessively don't quit. And you will, you get stuck to things and you will not give up even when it's breaking you to not give up, even when it's unhealthy for you to not give up, you just will not give up. And I don't think that you should give up on life. This crowning energy is giving up on a love. And are you, should you give up on love in general? Well, maybe for right now you should. Because the only thing that you really should be thinking about is healing and letting yourself be okay. And let be angry and get angry and be hurt and let it all come out and really let your walls crumble so that you can completely rebuild again. You know, don't think of it as being destroyed or as crumbling and falling apart. Thinking of it as taking all the pieces apart all at once so you can take inventory of what you have to work with and you can start rebuilding without having to go out and buy new materials but there's no way that you can take that inventory with the walls still standing so let them crumble down let them fall down allow it allow it allow it it is probably going to feel like the most uncomfortable thing in the world because it is not you but in Aquarius season, you're definitely being asked to be something odd and something uncomfortable, something spontaneous and something erratic, something unusual. And that's what you're being called to do. And I don't think it's the discomfort that gets you the most. I think it's the hurt. I think it's just this emotional pain of feeling completely worn out, of feeling like you're just completely and totally done just done that's your crowning energy so what do i see in the center well we'll get to that here be generous of spirit this is know yourself and your self-worth and be forward motivated know that there is a future for you this is this is a card telling me that there is definitely a future out there that is bright he can see it and he's lit up by it from the inside out and it's almost like his face is spotlighted there's definitely a sense of there is a beautiful future out there for you. And listen, even if you can't believe in it now, it's on its way. Be at home. This is about staying close to the heart chakra, close to the things that love you. Be around the people who love you. Be supported. If your walls aren't firm, then be supported by by those. Then, then lean on somebody, you know, uh, have a crutch for a while. Get outside scaffolding until you can, until you, as you reconstruct yourself, um, this is stay close to home. So you're going to want to stay close to people who you know completely love you. You're also going to want to stay close to your actual house where you feel safe, holding on to it, feeling strong within it and having it be something that helps you feel stable. Now, what if your home is at risk? Um, so this is a sense of downsizing, but finding that place where you can feel safe again, where you can feel like, okay, this can't be taken from me. Trust in the magic. This is a new beginning. And I told you that he has a future. He has a beautiful future. This is how the cards are coming out, how I'm looking at them. So he is looking at a beautiful future and a beautiful new beginning. 
And so the way to get to, to get there, to get to this beautiful new beginning, because it is there is a little bit of a way, a, a time lapse that you have to go through. There is a sense of staying close to your home, of being and home is is where the heart is, right? So it's not where you know where you live necessarily. It's just about um, those things and those people who you trust the most and who care about you deeply. You have really felt like spirit hates you. You don't. This is your central energy of feeling disconnected, of feeling left alone and by yourself, like you're the only one that you can rely on. That is not true, but that is definitely how you feel. And it's almost like you don't have words. Like, Words are getting stuck in your throat and you can't talk this week. It's very difficult for you to speak. And I think it's because you have lost that fuel and that steam. You've lost that sense of somebody's listening when I speak, you know, um, this is being vulnerable, not having your, not feeling like you have anything around you to defend yourself, not feeling like maybe even things are trying, things are worth defending anymore. Um, I don't think that we get to this point in our lives for no reason. I think we get to it because we need a new beginning and a new beginning only happens when we've allowed the old to completely and totally fall away. Um, slow and steady wins the race. So life is speeding up and I think that this is kind of where you need to be. Um, and love is all around. It's almost like, you no, know, you're speeding away from any thought or of love. You just don't even want to think about it right now. There's too many other things on your mind. And honestly, I think that you're just moving away or you experienced somebody recently moving away from you or, um, surprising you in a bad way, uh, walking away really quickly or a love happening, coming and going really quickly, quick in and out kind of loves, fleeting, fleeting loves, the feeling of fleeting love. Um, not maybe not being able to find anybody who's a quality partner, anybody who wants to stay around for too long or feeling like the partner that you're with or just this sense of I can say this, it's almost like you're being emptied really easily this week. Like, like you, um, yeah, like that's, that's a good way to explain it. You're, you're being emptied very, very easily this week. It's not, you, you're almost uncomfortable, like not uncomfortable. Like there's a hole in your cup. There's a hole in my bucket. <laughs> that's what, that's, that's what it feels like. Um, don't worry about it. Capricorn, I'm not going to leave you here. We're going to keep going. And we've got a whole tarot card spread to do as well. So what is this grounding energy? So what does this mean? Somebody flew away from you. Somebody made you feel vulnerable by the fact that maybe you feel, it's almost like you feel used. It's like love is all around, but love isn't all around. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Now everything is upright, and this is your grounding energy. So sweet results await. This is also a sense of self, the Leo card. But this is a sense of your hard work, right? Bees create their own honey. They don't just inherit it or find it. They work hard. And that is what grounds you all the time. You know, you're the only sign that I would probably say, don't like, don't rest. Like let yourself crumble, let yourself break down and just start picking up the rubble right away because it's almost in your work where you find release and happiness and wholeness. It's almost like praying for you because it's where you make yourself sing. It's how you make you, you strum your strings and find your own words and find your own music. So it's in the work that you do. So I would ask you, what is it that you want to build? Um, sometimes life stings and know your worth. Um, this is about communications coming in that really hurt your feelings, um, disappointments that keep coming in. This is about disappointments that you've been hearing, maybe on the internet, maybe on email, um, um, information that comes in that hurts you or harms you or basically the gadfly energy of something that just keeps na nagging you and needling you. Um, this is an energy of know your worth. 
how is this your grounding energy? Um, let me take some time because you have two tens here too. So this is an end of a cycle. This is nine, seven is that number of creation. Sweet results await. Sometimes life stings and know your worth. You know, bottom line is it's going to be difficult. I, I don't think you realize, you haven't realized yet. And this week is all about you realizing and coming to terms with a new sense of you, a new sense of yourself, a new sense of what you're capable of accomplishing. Um, because it is, it's, it's, it's like, it, it's not what you want to do, right? But it is what you have to do to get through. And like I said in the beginning of the reading, it's, it's being very, very uncomfortable with the circumstance that you're in and almost wanting to hide or wanting to make it seem better than it is. What is it that you're trying to make seem better than it is? What is it that you're trying to hold on to that is cumbersome and that is holding you back? Uh, what are the walls that you have to allow to crumble? Because remember, that is part of the work, right? Your demolition is part of the work. So you have to take down the old walls. Now, I just, there's two, there's two in your grounding energy. This is you. These are two animals that are known for their stingers. Okay. So you are pissed. I have to say this right now. There is something going on concerning work that is making you want to just literally sting the living you know what out of somebody because they were a stinker to you. It stinks right now. A big old stinker that's trying to smell like roses and trying to pretend like they were okay. No, they're not. This was a sting from work, a sting from your social, and somebody that is a falsehood. So what I'm saying is there was definitely some betrayal here. It's either coming in this week, but I really don't feel like this. I really feel like I'm in the middle. Oh, I almost missed a card. And look what it is. Surrender now. This is the moth staying away from the flame. In fact, just give up now. Give up now so you don't crash and burn. I think you want revenge, to be completely and totally honest with you. That's what's coming through. You want revenge. You're pissed. And I feel like you are afraid to let yourself just go gung-ho and like aim at them and like bring them down. Because you have this rationale about yourself. You want to be, you want to, you, you want to be mature. You want to be composed. You want to look professional. You want to seem mature and stable. You want to smack somebody. I'm just going to say it the way it is. You want to smack somebody. You don't want to say, you keep saying nice things to people. You keep holding it together when really what you need to do is completely and totally let loose because that's what you really want to do. And I'm telling you, Capricorn, that's what you really need to do. It's not about slinging you know what at somebody. It is about ripping into them with what they deserve. That, that's what your energy is. And the, I'm telling you, those smart Capricorns out there that are listening to me right now, you guys are just going to like let it out. You're going to scream and yell. It's almost like you're trying to suppress what it is that you feel, like hold it in your gut and that hold it in, 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 and you're choking yourself. You're choking yourself. You're, you're choking on the truth because of the way you want things to seem. You have to, I know not seems, okay? This is not about, you cannot, you're not supposed to hold it together this week. You're supposed to acknowledge how much it sucks. You're supposed to acknowledge how BS people were to you. And you're supposed to sling the you know what that they slung at you. You're supposed to sling it back at them. That's what's supposed to happen this week. They're supposed to feel your complete and total unadulterated wrath. And if you know that the, the devil card, you know the chains around the people's necks, that's the way the chains break open and break free. Hold on, Capricorn. So huge spread. And I love this, this, this energy when it first came out, didn't make much sense to me. And then I found this card that had been on the ground and I didn't realize it. And it totally brought it all together. You are avoiding flying right into the flames. You're like, I don't want to crash and burn. I don't want to crash and burn. 
you're not going to crash and burn. You're going to blow, you know what, you're going to blow it up. You're going to blow it up, up, up. So you could tear it down, down, down. That's what you have got to do. That's your way through Capricorn. You have the strength and you have the energy, but is your pride going to attempt to contain you? You need to let the you know what fly. You need to just let it go and let it rip and let it all out, crumble and fall and scream and yell. And when you hear from those people who hurt you, when you hear from those people who sting you, check out your romantic tarot because I swear somebody was going to come back. You do not hold it together. Do not pull that Capricornian thing where I have to be professional here. I have to be eloquent and I have to be sophisticated. No, you have to be raw. You have to be straight up ghetto. You have to sling that you know what. You have to sling that doo-doo as if you were a monkey in a cage. You cannot let in any way, shape, or form, you cannot swallow your emotions even one more second, one more day. So... This is a great time to carry it over into tarot. And we're going to take a look at the next seven days of romance for you too. Capricorn, that link is below and I'll see you guys over there.